What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we're back with a brand new episode in the money making series. In this episode guys, we're going to be killing Kurasks for one hour in this Fremenic Slayer dungeon. This does have a 70 Slayer requirement, which shouldn't take too long to get if you're not there yet. Guys, this is honestly one of my favorite Slayer monsters to kill, whether it's on task or off task, just because it's a very easy monster and the loot is surprisingly great. The first thing I want to talk about guys is how to get to the Fremenic Slayer dungeon. There are a couple of quick ways to get here you can either take a slayer ring teleport method or you can use the fairy ring code ajr to teleport you right here and as you can see the fairy ring is right here right by the entrance and once you guys get inside the dungeon you can see that the cuirass are all the way at the very end there are a couple of agility shortcuts you can take the first one requires 81 agility and the other one requires 62 so if you have 81 agility the run won't be too tedious the next thing I want to touch up guys is my gear. I do have some prayer favorable gear including the proselyte chest and the legs. This is because I will be using protect from melee in my entire one hour here. I think that is the best method for this monster. I do have some DPS items such as the berserker ring, the nezi helm, the amulet of fury which has a decent prayer bonus. I could have worn a proselyte salad which is the helmet. However I did want some more DPS and so I went with the nezi helm. You must use a leaf bladed battle for this monster or you can use the leaf bladed sword or broad bolt ranged weapons in my case it is much easier for me to use the leaf bladed battle axe and that is what i went with moving on to the loot guys this monster just has some amazing loot for its 70 slayer requirements as you can see guys this is the alcabo drops the rune longsword the adam and plate body the rune axe and the leaf bladed sword are all decent alks this monster is the only monster that drops the leaf bladed battle axe which is going for about 62k and it drops a mystic robe top light which is about 70k in addition the main drops that are stackable which are extremely awesome are the coin drops it can drop 10k stacks it drops noted big bones papaya fruits coconuts and white berries which will all be picking up except the flax because really no one cares about flax with all that being said guys if you are new to this channel please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you enjoy this content I will be doing price checks every 15 minutes to show what we're on pace for. And yeah guys, let's hop right into the challenge. And guys, we have officially started the challenge, so I'll see you guys for our first price check in 15 minutes. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alrighty guys, we are back with our first 15 minute price check, let's see what we got. And guys, as you can see in 15 minutes, we have accumulated about 91,000 GP in loot, which means we're on pace for about 360k in revenue. This does not include the cost of the prayer potions. So not too bad, but I did expect a little bit better drop luck. So far, we got a lot of low level herbs that I didn't pick up. Hopefully our luck turns around and we get a better next 15 minutes. One hour later. And guys, we've just finished our halfway point in this challenge. Let's go ahead and do a price check. And guys, as you can see, we have about 186k in loot so far, which means we're on pace for about 372,000 GP an hour. This does not include cost of supplies once again. If you guys did notice, I did not get a single coconut drop so far, which is very disappointing. I've gotten a whole ton of flax drops, which really irritated me. However, I do think we can get better luck in the second half of this challenge, and I'll see you guys in another 15 minutes. One eternity later. And guys, there is our final kill for the third interval. I'm going to go ahead and do a price check for the 45 minute mark. And guys, as you can see, we have a whopping 415,000 GP worth of loot. At the halfway point, we were at 186k, which means in 15 minutes, guys, we made over 230k. Not over, but we made about 230k, which is an awesome amount in 15 minutes. We did get about 5 coconut drops, which is extremely important to this price check, and I guess ask and you shall receive. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the final 15 minutes, and hopefully our luck continues. And guys, that is our final kill for the one hour. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the loot here. And let's do our final price check for the one hour challenge. And guys, we have officially hit the 600,000 GP mark in the one hour. We did manage to get one of the rare drops, and that was the Mystic Robe Top Light. We did get some good loot overall in this episode, guys. And let's go ahead and sell everything at the Grand Exchange, and I'll see you guys for the final profit. Boom! And guys, after selling everything on the Grand Exchange, our final cash stack for the one hour comes to about 591k. We did use about eight prayer potions, all of them four doses, so that would cost 
about 100k in supplies. But our final profit for this challenge was 491,000 GP in an hour. We did get about 55,000 melee XP an hour too, so that was pretty nice. And yeah guys, that does bring us to the end of this money making episode. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I really had a fun time killing Kuras. They're one of my favorite Slayer monsters to kill. And as you can see, it's still nice to kill off a Slayer assignment as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I think we're so close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. I hope you guys take good care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next week. And until then guys, peace.